I think I'm fine. I think I'm... Oh my god. That's not Nate. what I expected. Hey, Nate! What? By the way, hello and welcome back to more Steven Plays Uncharted 4, where the craziest things happen. I mean, last episode, crazy things happen. This episode, uh, what? There it is. Who the hell lives here anyway? I have no idea. But this is definitely the address. Been scoping the place out for the past few days. No one's home. And now a flashback? What? <sighs> and here we are. Whoa. Chapter 16. Where do we even start? Well, we start the Brothers Drake. And then we can take the grand tour. I did not expect to... Man. I, okay, I just got hit with three bombs. No three bombs. Three bombs, man. Find a way in that doesn't involve breaking a window. I mean, the first bomb was like, oh my god, everything has been a lie. Second bomb, what the crap, Elena, what? And then third bomb's like, oh, flashback, hey. Like, what? what is going on with this game? Holy cow. Anyway, alright, let's, uh... Got chilly all of a sudden. You want your jacket back? No, 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 no. Just gotta keep moving. Yeah, well, part of the moving is, like, using your legs. You wanna... You wanna come with me? Do you not... Seem to be... Wanting to... Whatever. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna scope the place out. You just chill. You just... You've relaxed. And you, you keep relaxing. I'm, I'm just gonna look around here. Pretty sure the front door will be locked. I don't know. <sighs> See? What I tell you. It was worth trying. Yeah, it was worth a try. Oh, uh, let's see. Get into the bushes here. Look around. Jeez. What do you think a place like this costs? Uh, I mean, I'm trying to get into the house, not away from it, so I should probably keep moving towards it. I hear, hear a noise, it's almost like a dog or something. There might be a dog on the property, I should probably be careful. Also, what is going on? God, I can't wait till we get back to present day. Alright. Can't get in here. Any open windows? Anything I can climb? And these bushes are in the way. These terribly thick bushes. What you see? All right. Let's look around back, huh? I'm gonna go out on the limb and say there's probably no treasures here. So. Hey Nathan, look. It's an open window. Oh yeah. Here, follow me. Okay. Give me your hand. How'd you get up there so easily? Just because you're taller? That's not fair. All right, there you go. Good stuff. I'm behind you. Oh my god, it's almost too easy. Come on, Nathan. I've really learned how to be a thief, huh? Oh, well, here. I brought a spare. Oh, how nice. So, are we looking for any particular room? Uh, just keep an eye out for any books, journals, any kind of research papers, you know? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Uh. Mm, nothing in here. It seemed promising. Oh, stay on the lookout. I'm still in shock from all the stuff that's been happening. Oh, another one. Nope. Canteens. Boxes are filled with old traveling and camping equipment. There uh. we go. I'll be with you in a minute. Still looking around. Don't see anything. Oh, what's this? It won't be here all night if I search this room by myself. 
Miss Evelyn, my name is Kenichiro Namba. I recently attended your lecture at the Adventurer's Lodge last week regarding your recent find, the set of uh, Takugawa-era armor you obtained off the coast of Okinawa. Your presentation was utterly fascinating, though I was surprised by the condescending tone of the questions from the audience. I believe recognition and respect for one's work should not be contingent on race or gender. I imagine we both have struggled in that regard. I write today because I have come into possession of what I believe to be French jousting armor, though I am not completely certain of the date nor the country of origin. If you have any time to spare, I would appreciate the insight of someone with your expertise. Apologies if this is too forward, but I will only be in the city for another month. In September, I uh, traveled to Iceland to study a Viking burial site, and I would deeply regret missing the opportunity to speak with you further. I'm staying at the Lennox if you wish to contact me. I sincerely hope you do. Kindest regards, Kenichiro Namba. Huh. Very interesting. Miss Evelyn. So that must be the person's house that we're in? Uh, okay. So, how do we find them? What, Mom's notebooks? I mean, don't you remember? She always used that off-white leather binding. That's why we're here. Yeah, I know, but it's such a large place. It's like finding a needle in a haystack. That's right. Okay, I recall. Now I remember. We're all here to find memories of Mom. Any luck in here? Here we go. White leather. Sam, I think I found one. For real? No. It's not one of Mom's. You got the right idea, though. Let's keep looking. Hmm. Yeah, that was pretty promising. It's actually, um, it's really nice to have a section like this, because we just went through, like, action, 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 action. Kind of breaks that up a little bit. There's a door over here. And we got a few doors. Hey, Sam. Call me crazy, but this looks like a Ming Dynasty vase. Nathan, who in their right mind would have a Ming Dynasty vase just sitting around like that? Yeah. It's probably a knockoff of some kind. Yeah, of course it is, right? Right. Huh. <laughs> Maybe. Just maybe. Uh, let's see. What's in here? Another bedroom to explore. Uh. A lot of really cool knickknacks here and there. Records. Got one of these things. Oh, something. Dear Eddie. Greetings from Peru. I hope my leather arrives safely. There's no post office here, only a small patch of grass serving as a runway and slow boats up the Manu River. I wish you could have seen the howler monkeys yesterday, bright orange creatures with expressive faces and ample curiosity. I would not describe the noise they make as a howl, however. It is like a hurricane wind mixed with a lion's roar. Were it not illegal and dangerous, I would bring home one for you. I would bring home one for you as a pet. Your mom is busy busying herself with preparations for tomorrow's excursion into the jungle, where we hope to uh, conclude our research. She sends her love. I promise when you are older, we shall bring you on our trip so that you might experience the larger world for yourself. Be good for grandmother, study hard, and we shall see you in a month. Love, Dad. Okay, so this family... Was this your house? Yeah, that's what I'm... Trying to put the, the pieces together here. Hey, these boxes remind you of anything? Every place we ever lived. Exactly. I remember Dad was always like, why bother unpacking? We're just gonna move again in a month. Yep. Always the asshole. Huh. Interesting. I'm really curious about learning who these people are. Maybe we'll learn something. <laughs> Uh, budge. Here, let's do it together. You ready? Push. 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 What the hell? It's some sort of sarcophagus. Yeah. Look around. This whole place is filled with sarcophaguses. Or sarcophagi. Sam, this is real. What 
is this place? Huh? Let's go find out. <laughs> this is cool. This is really cool. Alright, let's see. So we, I mean, maybe we're in a treasure hunter's house. Someone that collects interesting things regardless. Organ jars. <laughs> cool. Yeah, there is, uh... There's some seriously cool stuff going on here. Like, what a great way to break up the action, but then also put us in a place that's just so interesting. Uh, we can go upstairs. We can go downstairs. Hmm. This one's Roman. Third... Maybe fourth century. I like that they're including these little tidbits because it lets you know that, um... Nate and Sam, even at a young age, were more than just, you know, thieves or whatever. Like, they, um, they knew their stuff. They knew their history. And apparently there are treasures. Alright, I'll have to be on the lookout. So they were, uh, they were very educated in history from, uh, from a very early age. Hmm. And you recognize that one? Uh... I, I've seen something like it before. Reclining figures. Etruscan. Ah, uh, that's right. Yeah. Husband and wife. And buried together. It's kind of dark. And like in an awesome sort of way. <laughs> yeah. This thing is. This place is like a damn museum. <laughs> Think they've got a dinosaur wing? Wouldn't surprise me. Alright, further downstairs. Are we sure these. People aren't around? I don't want to run into them. Oh, here's another box. Here's another one. Ancient Persepolis. Nope. I do believe this is an ancient Mesopotamian washer dryer combo. I was the funny one. Always was. Uh, nothing else in here. Next room? <laughs> the infamous red propane tanks. Uh, there's all sorts of interesting things around, like wheat crackers and pasta. There's some papers, but we can't check them. Uh, looks like maybe records? Nothing else of interest in here. Just various storage and supplies. There's so much stuff. This is crazy. Hey, Nathan, check me out. Now, who am I? Huh? Dr. Livingston! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> nice. I mean, we are exploring this entire place, aren't we? Uh, let's see. Don't see anything here. Unless I can... Get in the fridge and get something to drink. Oh, here we go. Man, what I wouldn't give to get an invite like this. Adventurer's Lodge for our annual holiday gala. December 21st, open bar, buffet dinner. Presentation by President Charles Walsh on his recent expedition to Africa. New member initiation, silent auction. It's been a while. I do hope you'll join us this year, Charles. This is wild, man. Who are these people? Okay, that's one of the entrances, I think. I just read this one. Oh, yeah? Is it any good? It's kind of incredible. It's about the first Western woman to visit Lhasa. I'll get there myself one day. Huh. The globe. So where are we going? Huh? Well, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you pick? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay, well. Here we go. India. Yeah, we'll visit the Taj Mahal. Can I keep Round doing it? And around she goes. Soviet Union. Let's go to Moscow. Hey, I might be a tad difficult to get in. 
I always wanted to see the red square, though. Let's try again. England. Sure would be cool to see Windsor Castle. Right, Sam? Hey, hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault you weren't born yet. It's not like I remember much of it anyways. And it wasn't that cool. Uh-huh. Okay, one last spin. Brazil. Hey, now you're talking. All kinds of undiscovered places in the rainforest. And all kinds of undiscovered tribes with poison darts. Yeah, that too. It's really fun to hear the banter between the brothers. Hey, check it out. <laughs> Am I going to keep wearing this and not put it back? <sighs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to keep wearing this. That's where we came from. Uh, What we got here? Fertility totems. Stuff. Aren't you a little <laughs> old to be making that joke? Eh, never too old. Let's see, there's still a lot of interesting stuff around this house. Uh, something over here as well. What we got? Wow. This table's as big as the ones in the orphanage dining hall. I bet the food here was better. <laughs> Wouldn't take much. Damn. They must have thrown some great parties in here. Judging by the artifacts, they certainly had enough money for it. Yeah. Looks like it's been a long time since the last one, though. There's something here. Hey, check out this crazy demon helmet. Is that a Viking helmet? <sighs> Come on, you know Viking helmets don't have horns? It's Persian. Oh. My bad. Can you imagine being the one to actually uncover these things? <laughs> Must be something, right? Huh. I wonder if a lot of the, um... Like, the inspiration for them to, you know, go find things, you know, to, to become treasure hunters... ...came from this exploration of the home. I wonder if that had, you know, played some role in it. Maybe. Probably something. Lawrence of Arabia. Always wanted to see that flick. Never got around to it, though. Hmm. Okay. Lots of cool-looking stuff. My god, this, this place is gigantic. Jousting armor. It looks... French. Ah, so it's a throwback to the, uh, the note we read earlier. Nothing over here. Hey, maybe don't go waving your flashlight around the windows too much. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Or you could just not listen to me. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else is around here? Looks like we can still go upstairs. There's so this this is gigantic. This place is crazy. Going it alone. Huh. What else is over here? Oh, something else. A dragon gong. Hmm. Huh. Looks like it's from Southeast Asia. Nice. This is crazy! Like, every time I feel like we've seen it all, it just keeps going on and on. these? Compass, sundial... Just imagine being lost at sea. And those instruments are the only thing standing between death and salvation. Yeah. It's crazy. Another letter. Evelyn, I happened across the latest issue of Adventure Life, and I was both surprised and delighted to see you grace its cover once again. Okay, so it was that person. I'm pleased to see you looking so happy, still doing what you enjoy. In spite of our, our separate lives, you accom your accomplishments still bring me no small amount of pride. Attached is the photo from Edmund's graduation. Top of his class, I guess we did something right. Though he would kill me if he knew I told you, I want you to know that Edmund was devastated when you chose to journey to India without him this past summer. He has grown into a capable and self-assured young man. His flashes of insight remind me of you, particularly that the moment, the look that crosses his face just before the eureka moment. What's more, he loves and admires you more than I can express. 
I've had my share of struggles over the years, and I've never asked you for anything. I'm now asking you to take Edmund on your next journey. I know it'll be a challenge, and you might not move at the pace you're used to, but I promise you this. You'll find a joy the likes of which no one else can provide. I look forward to hearing... I look forward to hearing about your next big find. Keep making all of us proud with warm regards, Ken. So, I'm putting together that Ken and Evelyn were married, and it looks like they divorced, but happily, and they had a kid named Edmund, and Edmund stays with Ken. I think. That's the impression that I'm getting. Oh, it looks like he was he got injured, maybe. Is that it? He couldn't adventure anymore? I don't know. There's still some unanswered questions, but it's all very interesting. Uh, so they got, like, a little garden area set up. Hey, they've got your favorite book here. Really? Which one? A general history of the robberies and murders of the most notorious pirates. Yeah, more like a generally made-up history. Even the author's name is a fake. Of course, there's a garden gnome in here. Fake or not, this looks like a first edition. Are you serious? Man, this place, man. Wow. Want to take it with you? <laughs> nah. It'll just disintegrate in my backpack. You could sell it. Then you wouldn't need to take that job. Well, tonight, let's just stick with what already belongs to us. Hmm. So Sam has, Sam has a sense of honor. I mean, he's, uh, he's not, you know, a crazed lunatic out to, to steal and, and do whatever. Like, he has some, some code that he's following. Does it work? <laughs> nice. Liven up the place. <laughs> Since when do you like classical music? Excuse me, I am a man of many tastes. <laughs> I got something over here. Is that a letter? What's left of it? Now the sarcophagus to join its to fellows. Guess they said no. Certainly understand your reluctance. Like needed the money. You'd be I up to part with stuff either. I can sure you will be treated and displayed with the proper care and respect to this guy. Uh, you enjoyed its magnificence in your home for years. It's time to share it with the rest of the world. I hope you will reconsider my offer. Yours sincerely, Peter K. Huh. So this person was really hoarding everything. You know, people have... This person asked them, like, Hey, you know, could we get that cigar? And they're like, no. You know, they're keeping everything to themselves. Which honestly sounds miserable, in a way. I mean, look at this place. It's full of priceless... Artifacts and antiques and, and things from the world over, but they were hoarding them. That's really sad. Samurai. Eh? You recognize the crest? Uh, hollyhock leaves are, um... Let's see, don't tell me, don't tell me... Uh, Tokugawa clan. Yeah, right you are. Okay. I don't think Mom's journals are anyway in here. Let's, uh... Let's check upstairs. We can't get up there, so that's not happening. Was there something over here? Oh, wow. They knew Amelia Earhart. No kidding. Man, they knew all the cool people. Did the Mayans leave anything behind for you? Look forward to hearing more in person upon my return. Huh. That is... that is too cool. I should have checked the date. I wonder if that was when she did not return. All right, we went in there. It's time to go upstairs. We got a door that we can't open. We got a door that we can't open. And a hallway. Mom's stuff might be in one of these rooms. We gotta find another way in. Nothing over here. Let's try this door. Hmm, it's locked. Well, then we're gonna have to find a way in here. Can't get through here. Huh. Interesting. Kind of looks like... Yeah. We can climb that, right? Somehow. Kind of hey. looks like there's... The air vent. Up there. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. 
Oh, yeah. That could get us into the room below it. Not us. You. What? I, I can't fit in there. Can you handle it? You kidding me? Can I handle it? All right. Let's see what you got, then. I'm just curious how I get started on that thing. Can I... Can't climb up here. Can you give me a lift? Somehow? Somewhere? I gotta climb around the entire outside of this place, don't I? Saw that coming. You wanna help me with this, or you're just gonna watch? Come on. Are you ready? It's a Polaroid. Let me see. I think it still works. Come here. A smile, all right? Don't lose it. Hmm. Press X to shake. Press X to pay your respects to the Polaroid. Press X to Jason! There we go. That turned out pretty good! <laughs> we could just sit here and shake it forever. Alright. So it looks like... Okay. Up here. Hey, don't fall. Fall. Like I would fall. I got everything under control. Where do... Where do I go? Is the dog in my way? Oh, I gotta go the other direction. That, I was not expecting. Wait, no I don't. What the crap? I don't understand. Is the dog in my way? I guess I just have to drop down. Oh! That's... Strange. I got up there and then it was like yelling at me because it wouldn't let me go through. Can I climb on the dog? I can't climb on the dog. I have no idea what maneuver that just was. That was bizarre. Oh, I can climb up here. Oh, I feel dumb. Yeah, check this out. Almost knocked that over. Everything's good. Everything's fine. Just be careful. Yee. That does not seem safe at all. Looking good. Ha! Made it. Perfect. Whew! In your face, Sam. I'll get up here just fine. You want to know what's in this air vent? I'll tell you. Next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, I will venture into the air vent as young Nathan Drake. I do not know what we're going to find beyond this thing, but I guess we will discover it shortly. Thanks for watching. See you next time for more Stephen Plays Uncharted 4.